Hello everyone, my name is Sick, and welcome to Escape from Tarkov, the beta. So you're about to see my first little bit of gameplay here. I've never really played this game before, since I just bought it. <laughs> well, actually I did kind of boot it up, but, um, well, I spawned in, I got killed after two seconds, I barely had time to look around, and now I have to wait for 30 minutes. So that wasn't really gameplay, you know, I don't really, <laughs> haven't really experienced the game. So this time around we are going to spawn as a PMC, which is a main character. And playing as a scav, there's a big difference here. Um, this is basically the main character and if he dies, then you lose all of his gear. So everything you find, you basically lose. But playing as a scav, you are a random character, basically what is an AI character, you take him over with whatever equipment he happens to have and then you make it work and if you survive then you take his gear into the stash of your main character and then you can use it again. But you know, we cannot play Scav right now so we will have to play as a PMC. We have several places that we can start off at. We have the shoreline, we have a factory, we have woods and we have customs. So I spawned into the factory before. It should be a 40 minute playthrough on insane difficulty with about three to six people, but I don't know if you're actually going to be dropped into a random group or if we're just going to be by ourselves. Let's see, for the purpose of enhancing the testing capabilities, the beta version of the game includes a special offline mode that allows players to enter the raid alone. This mode can be used for exploration and testing of location, weapon adjustments, character testing and other activities if the game servers are busy or unavailable. Alright, I think we will actually do that because I'm going to be shit for now. Random weather and time conditions, that's fine. Enable PvE, well that's not really... Yeah, player versus environment. That's animals, I suppose? I don't know. Let's enable it. <laughs> Let's make this as hard as we can get it. Alright, so we have our main character. Let's begin. Alright. Ah, I was like, why am I suddenly a whole lot lower? But I dropped off a ledge. <laughs> that makes a lot, a lot of sense. So far the graphics are already really, really nice and the frame rate is really high as well. Like I'm looking at 120 frames per second. You will see this video as 60 frames per second, of course. Um, I am going to have to get used to the controls a little bit, like most of them are going to be pretty standard, like Q and E are lean. C is crouch, which I've usually got bound to, uh, to the control key. But yeah, there's going to be enemies here. And... Ooh, I heard something. This being a realistic game, we're going to die extremely quickly, so... What the hell? That's some really bad shooting. Let's have a reload. Ah, oh, that's quite slow. And this game is priding itself a lot on its um, simulation of the weapons and things like that. As well as character health. There's a whole lot of detail that I can't possibly discuss all at once, especially since I am playing this for the first time and I don't really know what I'm doing and I don't know all the intricate details quite yet. Maybe I can do another video on that later. As for now, this is a first impressions video, so... That AI looks like it's buggered off somewhere. <laughs> so I think the idea is to escape from this place and find some loot that we can use for the future. So we have a pistol, and we have a bayonet, apparently. And that's about all we have. Oh, nice. Got him. Alright, so it's pretty quiet, didn't draw anybody else. AI, I think, is still work in progress as well. He was hiding though, like he took fire, he ran away to hide, and then, um, well, we found him again, but... <laughs> Let's see, on sling, on back, oh, that's interesting. A scabbard, 
goggles. Let's take some goggles. Not sure what they do. And a knit cap. <laughs> Might as well take it. Maybe we can sell it later. There are several things that we can do here. We have overall stuff. So you can even see the hat on now. And the weapon on the sling. Whoa, whoa. I was coming from my right somewhere, I think. I took some hits to the arms and legs, if I saw that correctly. Oh, running is kind of weird too. There's like, a, like, um... Where did he go? Yeah, there's some kind of momentum going on. Damn it! Oh crap. Oh man, this kind of reminds me of Stalker as well, like... Oh, yeah, atmosphere. <laughs> yeah, definitely the atmosphere, but also the way the AI kind of behaves. It seems pretty good. I'm not sure where these guys just came from. But, um... They seem to be finding some cover pretty well, or at least, you know... Getting out of range. Alright, so we have a sling, two shots left. We could put this on our back, I suppose. We have 30, le 30 rounds. Not sure where we can see. Uh, this is his body. Tactical rig, scav vest, backpack, pockets unsearched. Ah, so we have to search this as well. That's going to take some time. Not sure if I should be healing or anything. That's weird. I wanted to switch over to this gun, and then it reloaded the pistol. Not entirely sure why that is. Oh crap! <laughs> oh! Feels like I can definitely take quite a few hits. Which is interesting. I mean, I can see this being a lot of fun with friends. And it runs really well too, it looks quite good. And it's, it's going to be a decent fight, at least. But yeah. Look at my body up to the top left there. I took so many hits. And I am under the impression that I'm probably going to be bleeding out. We have tape. Ah, oh, that is cool. Everything in this game feels like it's taking some time to do. Definitely a big fan of that, because that makes it a tactical choice. But yeah, let's have a look. Blood loss from our head. Alright, well what can we do? Alpha container. Damn it. Wow, looks like the AI is working with some perfect information there, or... Maybe he was just lucky? Ah, oh, he's bleeding out, isn't he? <laughs> I know that makes me sound sick, but that is really cool. That is something I loved in Red Orchestra 2. That is something I have always wanted to see in more games. And here we go. Some actual proper death screams. I think that that is really cool. Alright, so we're going to scavenge or like search this uh, rig. Finding some ammo. That's good. We can search his pockets. So yeah, it probably has four things in here. Or just one. Let's search his backpack as well. I really need to find some medical stuff. Oat flake, apple juice, oat flakes, cigarettes, tea bag. What's a tea bag? Transformer bag. Right, well, where can we put this? In a scabbard? No. 
I suppose we can take some food. <laughs> Cigarettes as well. I, I suppose we can sell all of this stuff. We have what looks like a scope. Interested in having that. We'll take this as well. Because why not? Right, I'm definitely bleeding out from the head. All my limbs are injured. He's still pretty fast though. That's interesting. Like I would have expected me not to be able to sprint anymore. We cannot breach this door. Or maybe my legs are too injured to actually make that kick work. Actually quite curious to know what it is. Or which one it is. Wow, that is some weird iron sights, man. I can't see anything. But vision is starting to warp, so I have a feeling that we are very close to death. I'm probably correct in that assumption. Um, I do still hear voices. Someone's coming this way. And it's nice to see the weapon in interact with the environment as well. <laughs> Apple juice. Let's use all of it. Not sure what it's going to do for us, but uh, I might as well, right? So this is our health by the looks of it. I didn't quite catch what it was before. Yeah, it looks like it's sticking down. Oh yeah, by minus... Uh, 0 0.13 water as well not sure what this is looks like energy of some kind we're carrying 22 out of 40 kilograms yeah okay we don't want to jump down here let's uh, take the stairs now this is probably a loss for my character so we might as well have some fun hunting the remaining guys I very much doubt that we're going to make it through this alive at this point. Oh, got you. Wait, I can't reload this gun, but I thought I took some shells. Are they the wrong kind? 12 by 70? That's this stuff. Pockets, maybe, because it's in the backpack. Tactical rig? Ah, this might be it, actually. Yeah, okay, there we go. So that's interesting. Inventory management definitely seems to be a huge, huge part of this game. <laughs> I have no idea what they're saying, but it sounds cool. I like Russian. It's a very cool language, actually. Especially, like, songs, like... Um, some of the, the choir stuff, obviously, but also just... Uh, oh, crap! <laughs> that scared me for a second. Alright, so we're dead. And apparently we cannot play another raid for... Uh, a raid time 11 minutes. Alright, I didn't say anything. I thought this was another countdown timer, like the scavenger one. No. Alright, so... Blood lost. <laughs> 138 liters, I guess, or 1.38. There's a dot there, that's quite hard to see. Body parts lost, one. Least damaged part, the left leg, all right. We didn't even travel half a kilometer, man. What the hell? I can do better. I have to do better. <laughs> and apparently there's an experience bar as well with uh, some kind of leveling up system. So yeah, this is definitely an MMO of sorts. But um, not sure how all of it fits together and how it all works together quite yet. So I figure we're going to be playing another round. We could maybe start playing in the woods, see what that's like. And we will be playing offline again. Or actually, I want to check out the customs because that sounds like... Let's see, a uh, large piece of industrial park adjacent to the factory includes customs, terminal, dorm, fuel, oil, storage and other infrastructure objects. Yeah. 
Let's go ahead and play this one. Alright, so let's begin. We start off with a pistol. That much is good. And it looks like it's overcast and it's night. That is less than great. Alright, so we have a knife. We have the pistol. And it seems like that is about all we have. Which is really quite interesting because I would have expected a flashlight of some sort, at least. Let's see, inspect, we can inspect this. We have um, unknown item. Can be modded in raid. Com oh, uh, we can. So what's this? Tactical and real mount. All right, so that is interesting. But I was really, really hoping for a flashlight. Because <laughs> this is really hard to see. Might f make things more interesting. We might also scavenge some stuff from the enemy. But this is really, really dark. <laughs> so I've figure we're going to be staying close to the buildings where there are some lights. That's going to give us a bit of a fighting chance at least. Because this... I'm not sure how able I'm going to be to see any enemies here. This is quite hard. Right, so there is no crouch run. I just tried to do that but he just goes up into a standing mode. That's interesting. I would really like to see a crouched sprint. I like to see that in basically every tactical shooter because sometimes it's just really important to get somewhere fast, but you know, standing upright is going to expose too much of your body. So a crouched run is then really in order, but um, of course it should be harder to do. You know, it's physically speaking, it's quite exerting. So. Yeah, something I would like to see. I mean, it can tire you out much faster. I'm totally fine with that. Actually, that's what I would like to see. But, um, yeah, I'm not sure if that's going to come. I'm not sure how feature complete this is and how much of this is still just bug testing. But considering it's beta, it should be, you know, in, its, in a, a playable state, a final state. And maybe some content that's being... Uh, added but nothing m much else right this time I have healthy feet but apparently not healthy enough <laughs> there's no other door here these things cannot be searched so I have no idea how the loot system works I guess we're finding boxes and just scavenging uh, the dead I suppose so far, it's been pretty quiet. And really dark inside too, actually. And something about that barrel makes me think that any point now, or at any point now, some uh, stalkers are going to come in, they're going to sit around it and then play some guitar or something. <laughs> Uh, that was always so really, really cool to see in uh, in Stalker. Such a cool little bit of world building, you know, these guys just sitting around the fire, just talking, playing music, listening to the radio, things like that. That was really cool. And this game definitely feels a lot like it, except it's a multiplayer game, primarily, with AI to fight against. 
and I guess some player, yeah, quite a bit of player versus player as well, because there are two PMC factions that I know of. Currently, I'm fighting as the Bear faction, but there is also Yusak, which reminded me too much of the Americans, and I was a little sick and tired of playing as an American. So, yeah, I went with Bear, which is like an ex-Soviet special forces unit turned PMC company, I suppose. At least that's the impression that I'm under. There's a hard hat. Now, I would like to have that hard hat, but... Ooh, we can search this. Searching, alright. Battery. Matches. And something that we don't know what it is. But we could inspect this, I suppose, and then examine. Examine damaged hard drive. No, I don't think a damaged hard drive is going to be much use to us. The A batteries definitely will, I suppose. Like, maybe... I don't know if they actually simulate this, but I maybe the flashlights need to be powered with batteries. If so, that would be pretty cool, if they at least last a while. And I'm trying to find the exit out of this lot. But... Hmm. So far, nothing. And I have no real idea about where to go. We have no maps. <laughs> so we're basically just picking a direction and, and going for it and trying to make the best of it. Ah. Look, man. There's an open door and I missed it. <laughs> Awkward. Yeah, I definitely feel like the factory is the more interesting thing here because it gets you into the action quicker and that's kind of what I was hoping for with this as well. You know, there are Arma missions and, and things like that that I get you into the action pretty quick but that's not the real strength of Arma and actually I've been missing, you know, the old Ghost Recon, the old Rainbow Six, you know, these games that were very tactical but also very condensed and they start you off with a designed or, yeah, you know, a design scenario, something to do with a specific, you know, um, flow of combat in mind, I suppose. And that's just something that Arma doesn't do very well, or at the very least, it doesn't do close quarters combat well at all. It's pretty, pretty hard, especially on the AI. Of course, the AI in Rainbow Six and Ghost Recon wasn't perfect. Well, it was really good in Ghost Recon, I think. Maybe a little bit too good inside buildings. But um, AI was pretty poor in Rainbow Six. It just made up for it by being pinpoint accurate. Which is also one of the biggest flaws of it. But it at least made it very, very uh, difficult. That made sure that you were actually using some tactics. I'm not sure what this is going to be like, and again, this feels really bare. There's n I would have expected some enemies around here somewhere, but nothing. So you know what, I'm just going to walk around for a little bit until I find some contacts, and then I'll start the video again. Alright, so I've given up on the dark map. <laughs> There was nothing around. I've walked for quite some time and I didn't find any enemies. So this time around I decided to go back into the factory, give it a better go. See how far we can get this time. At least this time around I know, or I, I can expect, some enemies to be very close to me. And again, that's what I said I wanted from something like this, is you know, something that is a little bit quicker to get into the action, something a little bit closer to Rogue Spear or Raven Shield or the original Ghost Recon, you know, because that is really cool and that's something I've really missed. Squad is really cool, but it's, it takes a long time to get into. Uh, Player announced Battlegrounds, not quite realistic, and it also takes... Um, well, there's some downtime there, you know. 
And then, uh, yeah, what else have you got? There's not a whole lot except ground branch, you know, at the moment. And then Arma, Arma takes a long time to set up and get going, unless you're just playing single player. But yeah, this, this could be very interesting indeed. If it's a lot of scenarios like this, close to the action, close to the enemy, I'm definitely up for that. And I'm okay if some areas, you know, are a little bit more spaced out, that's fine. Some ebb and flow to the combat is definitely very good and very nice to have as well. It shouldn't be constant action all the time. I think I did hear some enemies. But I feel pretty exposed up here, so... A lot more quiet than last time. Alright, so, you know, I died a few times and I lost all my stuff. Which we knew was going to happen. Let's examine this. Looks like a key of some sort. Dorm room key. With Oh yeah, and there are some enemies close by. Damaged hard drive, we can discard this. Let's have a look, because if I do make it through this, this time around, I would like to have something to show for it. A figurine. Another key. I suppose. That could be nice, maybe we can open up some doors without having to kick them first. I quite like that there's a, an option to kick these doors in. Could make for a very cool co-op experience that way. It's kind of weird though that like there's a bang and clear as well. And, you know, because that makes it look like it's pre-canned and that their player doesn't really have control over where they throw the grenade. Now I have to see if that's actually true or not. But that makes it seem pretty weird. Not sure what that is, but I'm going to take it. Now I'm curious if the sound of kicking doors in is going to attract the scavengers. I mean, I assume it would. Ooh, I think I saw some movement. Yeah, I quite like being a lone wolf in this sort of game as well. I guess that's why I like player announced battlegrounds quite a bit as well. Something about making do by yourself, checking all the angles yourself, makes you appreciate your team all that more, or that much more. Because if you have to go through a T section, for example, like this, I have to check left and right. It's very hard to do by yourself. So next time you play through this in co-op. Then you have a buddy to check left, so you can check right, and then, you know, it's a lot safer, and that makes you feel a lot better. This just makes you really tense. <laughs> that sounded like he was laughing in response to me. <laughs> Alright, so I had a shot, but not a great one. This time around, I think I will not alert these guys to my presence, unless I am sure I can make the kill. Definitely the healthiest life plan. Right, we're getting very close now. I suppose this area right here I would have to jump over. Or no, there's a door, right? Damn it. Is he dead? Nope! Damn it! Oh, Jesus! Oh, I suck at this. <laughs> Fracture, blood loss, pain. I mean, I. I suppose, you know, I start off with the shitty weapon, but come on. 
I figured I would have killed him at least. First off. I hear footsteps. Oh crap! <laughs> Jesus. Right. Let's try that again. I mean, I really have to go for the headshot, but it's kind of hard to get used to the to the way the aim works, like the recoil on this weapon and things like that. Yeah, quite cool though. I I like it so far, or at least I think it seems very promising. Definitely interested to play this in co-op with some guys. So if you do have this game and you want to play some co-op, let me know. That would be pretty cool, I think. Oh, Jesus! These guys are quick. They actually... <laughs> they're pretty close to Rainbow Six, man. Holy hell. Where did you go? And again, this would be a place where crouched run would be fantastic. I have a feeling he went left there. And he's going to come down this hallway, maybe? Because these guys do travel quite a bit, it seems, so... But I guess not. So, let's move on. the hell somebody is running around very close by so many angles I suppose it was the same guy that shot at me earlier. He must just be standing around now because I don't hear him anymore. The sound of you own footsteps is really good though like the turning around yeah very cool indeed uh, this is probably going to be my last attempt for this video so oh crap Oh, there we go. Oh, man. Well, I didn't get hit this time around, so that's pretty good. Got some decent cover. <laughs> I have a feeling this area is going to get pretty busy pretty soon. I want to search his body, but... I don't feel safe enough to actually do so because it bit me in the ass before. Now, I'm not hearing anything now, but I have a feeling that we will pretty soon. Or maybe I'm right now I'm just giving them the time to get close <laughs> so that when I actually do feel safe enough to move out, then they're going to arrive and shoot me. Seems pretty clear, so yeah. Looks like we have some divided pockets as well, that's interesting. Oh, damn it, I knew it! 
damn it! Oh, that was my arm. We're in pain. <laughs> what the fuck? Did I get him? Oh, he hit me in the head too. I had a feeling he was going to be up up there somewhere. Then I looked the other way and actually managed to miss him too. Wow. This is the proper story. Oh, we actually did get him. Awesome. Ah. Oh. Alright, so we have to stand there to search. <laughs> That's some ammo. More ammo. Put that in the backpack. Not sure what this is, not sure what that is. But we're not going to stand around here to find out. I want to have a little bit of cover. This seems like we have a... Th this would be a better rig. <coughs> Can't find place for item. Ah. Nope. We can search it. Hopefully he has some medical stuff. I'm not sure how medical stuff actually works. That's our shotgun stuff. Now let's cancel this. Let's search his pockets, because I think this is going to be just ammo. Nothing in his pockets. Just a shotgun, but... I mean, we have the AKSU. So I'm just going to keep using that for now. Oh, I think I remember this area from crap, the introduction or the promotional trailer. <coughs> Is he behind me? Let's keep a move on. <laughs> I don't feel safe. We have openings to the rear, openings to the front, left, right. Openings pretty much everywhere. Someone's getting close. Ooh, we have a closed door. We've got guys right on the other side. Damn it. I hear them all around me now. Guys coming upstairs to the left. A few footsteps on the right. And me, I'm just bleeding out in the corner. Right, let's be aggressive. I think there's only going to be one guy in this direction. Oh. <laughs> This area sounds like it's clear. Let's unload this. That's cool, that was a possibility. I wasn't sure, but I figured I'd try. Alright, mostly ammo. Let's search his backpack. He's bound to have something. Bandages. Right. We can actually use this as well now. Tremor in the head, uh, pain, fracture, fresh wound. 
That's a key. I suppose we'll take it for now. Yeah. Alright, so this area is safe. Now, I'm assuming there's no magical reloads in this, so I'm just switching out half empty mass at this point, like constantly. Oh man. Oh, <laughs> crap, I knew there was somebody there. Oh man, at least I got someone though, that was pretty cool. Anyway, that's the end for this video for Escape from Tarkov, so please leave a comment and a like below if you enjoyed this content and wish to see me play this game more, because I definitely will, and I'll see you guys whatever video I do next.